What is up my Golden Boys and Girls, Chandler here, and today we're doing a semi-rare bay review. I don't want to say it's rare because Sun Kong released it. Yes, Beat Links. I said I was going to do a video on it, and here we are. So this Beyblade is Beat Links TH170WD. Beat Links is a 4D bay that was originally released in the random booster, in one of the in the first random booster of Metal Fury, or Metal Fight 4D. And it's now available via Sonokong, which released it as a separate release, which is still nice. Um, Beat Links is a balanced type bay, despite having a defensive build. So let's disassemble it here. Actually, I'm not going to use that tool. Let me use my launcher tool, because I'm going to do a battle. Alright, so... Uh, I'm not going to do a battle for this bay. It's a metal fight. It doesn't matter. So let's just assemble the whole bay. Easily. Alright. Baseball. You get that, and then you get the parts. So this is Beat Links. So let's start off with the face bolt. It's a sticker. It has a printed face underneath, but with the sticker, it just looks so nice. And uh, a lot of people don't realize this, but in the anime, they make Beat Links look bigger than all the other tops so the track gimmick can work. Which is why on the sticker, it looks like the face bolt is shrinking down and surrounded by this leopardy design. Which is kind of a neat fun fact for you guys. Uh, nice gold color, pearl gold color. And, yeah, you can see the little cat little ears. P really nice face. Next off, we have the Lynx Energy Ring, or the Lynx Clear Wheel. And you can see the iron dust in there, making it all kind of shiny and reflective. Um, I don't want to say Lynx is a bad clear wheel, but I don't want to say it's a good one. You can also see more of that leopard printing detail. But... I don't really have a per se on the Lynx clear wheel. I don't think it's that good. Um, yeah. I don't really know much about this. I might do research later on. For... All right, next up we have the parts to the fusion wheel. So basically how this works is you line it up. You can have it like this, of course, in attack mode, or you can have it like, and you can switch it over into defense mode. So let's talk a little bit about these modes, about beat. Beat on its own is just good. It's just, for some reason, it's just really good. And I can see why it's good. It has these big gaps, this big contact point, similar to that of an Excalibur. And I can definitely see it having anti-attack potential thanks to these smooth edges, where it can use these blades to attack and have some more defense potential here. In defense mode, however, where the PC frame covers up the most some of the gap i don't see this being as competitive as it just it adds smoother circumference to the bay but it might it's just it's not as good as this that's all i gotta say um still beat pretty good attack wheel uh, i wouldn't say it's comparable to stuff as blitz very air i don't know if it's as good as blitz or very Aris, or it might even be a counter to them since it seems like it'd be good for anti-attack all right Next up, we have TH, uh, yeah, TH-170. This is actually an extremely top-tier track in all formats, in, like lim in limited and standard. And I can explain why. I need to... Oh, boy. Yeah, all right. So we unlocked it. And basically, what it does is it allows the tip tra the height of it to go to, from, to go to from 170 to 190 and then to 220, making this uh, having similar to CH120, which had uh, 120 and 145, but this thing is just taller, and it's really good for stamina, and it's really good on metal ball. Lastly, we have probably the part that most people care about, but nonetheless, it's still really good. This is wide defense, WD, and this nice transparent gold color. Very fitting. Let's assemble the bay. I want to see if I can get a stadium up here. Can I? 
Uh, I'm gonna be using the snake pit because I think I said in my video my uh, stadium is broken, but luckily we're gonna probably get one by next week, and it's gonna be white. Let me see if I can get a stadium. Too. Oh, heck, sorry, for one. Um, yeah, clear wheel, very nice. I'll probably do a battle against Cosmic or Big Bang, just Big Bang Pegasus. Simple, and then we assemble the bay. Beautiful Beyblade. All right, let's see here what we can do. Back. Yeah, no, that fits. I mean, it's just kind of a spin test, really. I don't have my tripod on me. Well, let's go grab Big Bang Pegasus. Where are you? You're, you are a Beyblade that exists, therefore I must find you. Otherwise, I will end up using something like Blitz Unicorn. Um... Okay, I see Big Bang. I'm sorry, I've been out of it lately. Here we go. Big Bang Pegasus. Big Bang Pegasus FD will be the opponent of Beat Links. Let's get this show on the road. All right. Ready, set. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Just gonna be a small battle. One round. Just to get you guys a feel for how it moves. So this is in its 170 mode. You can see there's a lot of recoil on its movement. Sorry if the camera angle's really bad. Yeah, I can't zoom out that much. Actually, I think I can. Yeah, I'm holding it, so... Just so you guys can see the movement. Yeah, so, so I still got some pretty good defense for a balance type. But yeah. That was my review and test battle on Beat Links. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, join the Discord. Link is in the description below. Uh, have an awesome day. Uh, we hit 200 subscribers, so stay tuned for the 200 subscriber specials that are coming out. And join the Discord so you can be a part of it. So, have a wonderful day. Stay awesome. And... Beyblade.